all over the place. You're a psychiatrist, and you're author of a theory. Here's what she's saying. First of all, white people are dying out. Into the next century, everybody on earth may be of color. And we're scared about it. Already we're a minority. Did you know that? I'll guess 25% of us are white, maybe less than that. And that's the reason we're racist. We're not only afraid of dying out, but we're also jealous because we have no color. <laughs> You're laughing. How come we spend so much time in the sun trying to get brown? Can't make a, a baby of color. And that's the reason for racism and lynching. And if you, we don't, if, how do you explain? Do you believe we're racist? No, we're not racist. Yes, we are racist. What is this, an accident that all the, the cities are becoming blacker and blacker while the uh, outer reaches of major metropolitan whiter and whiter? That's an accident? Fuck. When you get on an elevator and you're the only white person on the elevator, how do you feel? <laughs> What'd she say? What'd she say? Frightened, she said? Oh, she's scared of elevators. <laughs> okay, here we go. Francis Cress Welsing, MD. You are a Washington, D.C. based psychiatrist and you're author of the Cress your middle name, you should say, theory of color confrontation and racism. You call racism white supremacy. Uh, to be sure, a provocative and controversial theory on skin color and oppression. Well, I'm ready. So is this mostly but not exclusively white audience. Let them have it, doctor. What's that? How? Boy, oh boy, you, you need an escort to get out of your speeches? No, now, let me just give you a little background. This paper was written approximately in 1969 and presented in 1970. It was written for a group of black psychiatrists who were looking at racism. It was also written because as a psychiatrist and working in a hospital trying to treat black people and white people, but recognizing that the majority of the problems that black patients had in a psychiatric hospital, when you took a history, you would run smack into racism. So I knew I had to understand racism to help solve the mental health problems of black people. So out of my brain computer, putting in the question, why? Why do we see this behavior? Why have we seen it for hundreds of years? So I thought about these two things, basically two facts, that even though the white population says that people of color are minorities, minorities, that it is the white population that is the, the minority, majority. the minority on the planet. That's the reality you're saying. That's the reality. Yeah. That in spite of the fact that black people, non-white people have heard over and over again, you're genetically inferior because you are non-white. That in reality, white skin is a genetic recessive status, not as said by Francis Welsing. What is you it? see, what is meaning it? that... If Meaning that if you and I were to have a baby, the baby would have color, and you make the contribution, and I don't. That the that white so plus what? colored. Well, wait a minute. It's not Francis Welsing that is concerned about the disappearance of white. Ben Wattenberg just wrote a book, The Birth Dirt. There have been multiple articles in the newspaper talking about the decline of Western population.